Hey all here OS Reviews. Over the past two years, we've seen a number of smart backpacks, whether it's ones that have a built-in Bluetooth speaker, a LED display that you can use to program and show different images, or even ones that block all radiation, preventing anyone from hacking into the devices inside of your bag. Well, today we're taking a look at the latest smart backpack. It's called the Time Noten, and it's currently a project on Kickstarter, selling for $90 and above. The slogan is a smart, thin backpack for the urban jungle. And what makes this backpack smart is there is a version that has a built-in lock that uses Bluetooth and can be unlocked using the companion smartphone app using iOS or Android. At the same time, it claims to be still TSA approved, so you can still go through airport security with these. The electronic version of the backpack also has a built-in GPS chip that allows you to track where the bag is at all times using the same companion app. It also claims to be splash-proof, waterproof, and again, thinner than the typical backpack with a really small profile. So the concept here is really cool in my opinion. The only downside uh, is at least there's two versions of this backpack floating around. If you look very closely, there's one version that's called a mechanical lock model and another one that's using the Bluetooth lock. The Bluetooth one is is what has all the electronic components that you can unlock using your phone and has the GPS tracking. But uh, the mechanical one is kind of the demo version that I have in front of you guys here today that has just a regular lock that you still have to use your fingers to change the combination and unlock. The mechanical version also doesn't have the built-in GPS tracking capabilities because it doesn't have any batteries inside, so it doesn't connect to the app in any form or fashion. So I think that the fact that the mechanical lock version and the Bluetooth lock version is only $10 apart, uh, there really isn't a huge reason, in my opinion, to pick up the mechanical version. It seems to be lacking a lot of those features which I consider to be smart and hence unique. It's also worth noting that if you pick the Bluetooth version of the backpack, there is no way to open it mechanically. If the battery dies or if you lost your smartphone, you could be in a little bit of trouble because there is no second way of opening up the backpack aside from the Bluetooth lock. And that's perhaps one reason where the mechanical lock might be a little bit more beneficial. Um, it's always going to be working as long as you remember your password. Now on the right hand spine is where we'll also find access to the aforementioned lock. The interesting thing here is the lock is actually built into the zipper's design. So the password by default here is actually 0, 0, 0 for the first time. And when you're ready, you can just pull down on this latch and the lock will open. But as you can see here, the lock is again integrated into the zipper where you can then move and pull the zipper to open up the backpack. Now, this is definitely not going to be indestructible just because if someone does have enough patience and time alone with your backpack, they can technically still probably pry off maybe one of the other weaker points and then maybe rip open the seams of the zipper without having to open up this lock. So if they're able to kind of hold this out of the edge uh, compartment here because there is a little bit of a hole, they might be able to just uh, string this along and open up the bag. But again, it's a more tedious process than on a regular backpack. So it still gives you a bit more of a peace of mind. If someone is trying to tuck away when you're wearing it, you'll probably notice it. And from the back, there is some padded uh, layering that uh, adds some extra resistance and uh, protects your back when you're wearing it. It makes it a bit more comfortable. And the straps for the backpack themselves are also quite light. Um, over here, we do have some additional small pockets and although it's not large enough to put a modern day smartphone even an older phone is going to struggle to fit in here so it's more I think meant for uh, cards and smaller objects. The way that this backpack opens up is also really similar to just a suitcase because technically it can open up completely without anything uh, blocking it so you can lie it completely flat as you can see there. This is more convenient when you're packing things in just to get the most utility just because typical backpacks may be a little hard to see in the bottom portions and when you're squishing things in not quite as convenient as having this type of setup and there's also more uh, suspension pockets on the sides as a result uh, but the downside is again if you simply open it up like this when you're taking things out in public it may seem a little bit strange and that's why they also give you the ability to restrict the mechanism here so that you open it up and it's only at this angle. It's just like on a more regular backpack. It's not going to reveal everything when you're out in public for some added security. And when fully open on the part that's closest to the outside kind of shell, we have an internal pocket here that we can use to pop in um, some quick documents. It's a rather shallow pocket like this. And you can also access the full outer 
uh, portion as well. It's basically accessing the outer edge of the shell directly. And flipping it around on the other side is where we have this removable compartment that gives you access to lots of these spare pockets. So you can put in different utensils like pencils, other small documents like maybe your passport, different uh, kind of credit cards. There's even a quick user instruction here to open up the lock that they give you, uh, which will be of course different if you have the Bluetooth version. If we do remove this underneath, there's even more pockets. Um, there's just the Time Noten logo, and that's where you can open it up and pop in your laptop. It can fit laptops up to 14 inches without any problems. So again, it's more meant as an ultra-portable laptop than something to carry maybe a gaming machine uh, or something with a 16-inch display. It's going to struggle a little bit more, but you can put in the laptop into the sleeve as long as it's a relatively slim. And there's also another layer here that we can use to pop in maybe the adapter, the charging cable, and also some other accessories like chargers and whatnot in these two pockets. So now as a quick demo, let's pop in a laptop. This is gonna be a 12 inch laptop, top compartment here, slides all the way in, and we can just close it and gives it a bit more of security. And now we have the charging AC adapter popped in, in addition to a tablet, an 8-inch tablet we can also fit in pretty comfortably with the laptop still behind it. Now you can also use the external pocket if you don't want to use the sleeve to put in a larger laptop, like a 15-inch uh, laptop like this can still squeeze in, although the backpack itself can't really expand because it is a hard shell. So that's the Time Noten Smart Backpack. Overall, it's well-constructed, it offers a really sleek and modern design, it's a fairly durable as far as the construction is concerned, it's waterproof, and gives you plenty of pockets, more than the average backpack I'd say, and still squishes in enough room to pack all of your essentials when on the go. With that being said, the mechanical lock version of the backpack I don't think is going to be the one that I would recommend for the average consumer, even though the Bluetooth edition does require you to charge it up at all times because if you run out of juice, it can't be opened. That's really the model that makes it more smart, in my opinion, because this model doesn't have the location tracking, uh, which I think should be default on both the mechanical and the Bluetooth editions. Again, through the years we've seen quite a few smart backpacks, but one can argue that many of those other editions were quite gimmicky or niche. For example, not everyone would want to use a speaker on their backpack, but this seems to be a much more approachable. If it had location tracking and a lock for added security, it's something that I guess most folks that own a backpack would actually want. So if you're interested in learning more details and you want to find out more about their campaign, you can check out the links in the description below. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That was a hands-on quick look at the Time Noten Smart Backpack.